everybody. It's your boy here to give you guys a review for Mary to Medicine. So I got my tea in my cup. So let's go ahead and get into it. So I normally don't talk about like the opening, you know, cut scenes. Cause I mean, for me, they just don't fucking matter. But is it me or did Lisa Nicole daughter pull a um Dr. Heavily daughter? Because, you know, I guess Lisa Nicole was trying to wear something very, very form-fitting, talking to her daughter. And people for the real, like, kids are really fucking obvious. You know what I'm saying? They haven't developed that filter just yet. And she politely said, well, it's not flat, but you have a small heel. <laughs> ah, she got a pooper. Shit was funny. Okay, so Dr. Jackie, um, you know, with all of the uh, issues that uh, she and Curtis are having, she's deciding, or they are um, going to arrive, I think, like, one or two days early so they can kind of break stuff in, and she going to put it on them. Now, for those of y'all who don't recall the Ja Rule song, if I remember, <clears throat> I'm going to put a link in the description so y'all going to listen to it. Because once, once she pretty much said and, you know, for what it's worth, I'm going to put it on his ass. I was just like, what? <laughs> she was like, when he come back, he going to be relaxed. I'm just like, well, you know what, Dr. Jack? You best to fucking do that, hell. Uh, Lisa Nicole, so, she, so I'm going to skip all other shit. We're at the airport. Lisa Nicole is there, and she pretty much says that Darren is going to be arriving one or two days later. You know, and I said, I mean, he's a doctor. It is what it is. But there are many different professions to where you can't always just take off like that. And even if you plan so far ahead, it doesn't always work like that. So it's one of those where, you know, I ain't tripping. I know everybody will probably be like, well, all the other doctors are off. But correct me if I'm wrong. I think he is an ER doc, <clears throat> which I think in those regards, <clears throat> I don't know how the pay is or whatnot. But, I mean, I would like to believe that. It would be just a little bit harder, you know? And I mean, hey, shit, he got to make his motherfucking paper. You feel what I'm saying? I mean, quiet as is kept, no, all tea, all shade. I mean, I, I felt, you know, like, fuck a damn, Eugene should have stayed back. I'm just saying. Okay, so really quickly, correction. I said that uh, Dr. Jackie and Curtis would be there earlier. They're actually going to be late. My B, my B. Uh, question. Um, I just want to know... Uh, why Lisa Nicole, you know, talking to her husband owned, and they made it, they made it a point to show on the phone the display. It don't say, you know, daddy. It don't say hubby. It don't say my man. It don't say none of that. It says Darren Noggles. Anyway, so uh, Lisa and Mariah, they arrived late. They decided they wanted to change the standard, and they arrived there. And the girls are already getting ready to go. Now, I'm upset with Mariah because Mariah is trying to run. She's saying, this is our first night here. Da, 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 da. We should at least do this. We need to have a drink. And this is one of those, but this is not your shit. And I understood why she was late. But this is not your shit, so you can't sit here and dictate things. So I wasn't here for her with that. Trust me when I say I wasn't. But... When they all finally sit, well, not all of them, but when some of them sit down and whatnot, you know, Toy wants to go in and talk about, well, you decide to change, you land up this and the third, you ain't got your boot on. And she pretty much said, I don't have my boot on because my foot was sweaty and I wanted to clean it off. That is why. And you can tell that Toy hasn't had an injury to where, you know, that is even a thing. To where you either have a cast on, you're bandaged up to where, hey, sometimes, or you have, you know, the whole... What is it? The gouges and get whatever those things are. Where you got to change. It's one of those where you sometimes you have to do that just to make yourself feel a little bit comfortable. So right there, I wasn't. But well, I'm not always here for toys. So I mean, it's what the fuck it is. Um, and I mean, yeah, I mean that pretty much it. You know, Toy was on some petty shit, getting on Mariah scooter, scooting around. All I'm gonna say is, yeah, they better than me because I wouldn't have been sitting here talking shit in confessionals. I would have been talking shit right the fuck there. Would have been like, you need to go ahead and scoot your ass to a motherfucking payday loan. Scoot your ass. Like she said, scoot your ass to h and I, I would have sat there and said so much fucking shit. You want to touch my? Because here's the thing. You touching my shit. 
I don't give a fuck if you're playing or not. You touch it, my shit. That's how you catch a fucking fade when you put your hands on my shit. Either that, or I'm gonna sit here and I'm just gonna be the petty son bitch that I am and go and start touching your shit, putting on your shit, wearing your shit, and see how the fuck you feel about that. Now, I almost got mad. I thought that the clip that I just recorded didn't do because the damn program on the computer didn't fucking shut down. I was this close. I was so, y'all about to get angry as redoing that shit. But anyway, so everybody's getting ready to get on this boat. Everybody thinking that it's a yacht. I'm pretty sure she said it's a boat ride. Because how she said it was a yacht ride, it would have been just that. Oh, and that was so much shade. You got heavy. She's sitting there saying, I mean, well, you know, if it was Toya, it would have been glammed out. But I mean, I guess it's okay for someone. I mean, you know, look what the fuck she wearing. Okay. Toya, you know, her whole day, you know, I thought I was going to be on a yacht. Da, 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 da. Now, my thing is this. I understand what you used to. Because I, 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 like I said, I hope Greg read the eyes out of her eyes a little bit later. I just got words. I'm going to get that momentarily. Hopefully, I remember. Actually, let me just make a note. Hopefully, I can read that I've been drinking. And Greg, you know, has something to say. But again, Greg can do that. Because Grant make that money. You know what I'm saying? And it's what and I get what they were saying. I understood. And watching how things played out, she got the boat on purpose because it was designed for them to be able to go in and interact with the, you know, marine life. But it is what it is. And and I'm going to get there. So Dr. Damon, you know, is um on, you know, the, the edge of the boat, almost Titanic like. With fucking toy and shit. Toy, you know, kind of moving around, gyrating and shit. Now, dot now. <laughs> Heavy, mad as fuck. Like, what the fuck that, boy? like, pretty much what the fuck that bitch over there, you know, talking to my husband about this at 30. She ain't gonna make it no better. Like, oh, she just hurt. <laughs> he messy as fuck. You know what I'm saying? And, and we all got some messy and we all got some petty in us. We, and for the men, we all got some bitch asses in us. I, damn it, they show right there. Ain't nobody mad. What the fuck is this asking me? For real? Oh, love. So, just to let y'all know, um, if, it, if it's not a secret, I, I don't know if I'm going to shit out there. Like I said, I'm at Fort Bragg. I actually stay on post. And uh, we're supposed to get snow tomorrow. Uh, I think, what is it? Um, Three to six inches, which I'm from Chicago. That ain't shit. But when I was at fucking Fort Rucker, Alabama, they closed down fucking post for like half a fucking inch of slush. Not even snow, slush. And I know they don't have the equipment and whatnot to deal with this. So literally, I just got a test message, you know, Apple Watch. Uh, shameless promotion, even though I get paid for it. But I just got a test message saying that pretty much post is closed the fuck down tomorrow. So luckily for me, I got all of what the fuck I need. But it would actually be nice to see some of the snow outside. I mean, fuck, we just talked about that shit last year. It had some fucking nice... I was uh, pulling the fucking staff duty and shit, so I had my car parked there, man. That shit was so fucking nice, so I left it there until Monday. I think, like, I think I got off on a Saturday. So I'm trying to walk back to my barracks, and I'm like, okay, okay. Like, because, you know, it's, slip, it's, it's slick ice. So I'm literally, like, tiptoeing, tiptoeing. I saw someone getting ready to go down this motherfucking hill, slip, bust my ass. <laughs> But it was cool because then nobody fucking see it. So I was I was cool. I was cool. I played this shit off like ain't nobody see that shit. <laughs> but anyway, yeah, I'm s i am just had to share that. So post close my right, this what the fuck it is. I got I know I know somebody who gonna be drinking staying warm. I'm just saying. But anyway. So he over there with her um heavy mad. She mad. And you know, she's sitting there. This ain't because she's like, what the fuck she over there talking about? She ain't got shit to say to him. Mad as fuck. The only thing that got me mad is I got a happy wife, happy life. I, I, I'm i an asshole. I am. And sometimes I'm petty. She, that she had me to confess, what would you over there, what would you over there do? <laughs> it, it, this is like, you know, that dumb nigga stands. He had the dumb nigga speech. He's like, well, uh, you you know, I, I was looking at the wild. Like, you should have said marine life, motherfucker. What? And I'm even sitting there with her. Like, what fucking wild? <laughs> Why the shit was so fun? She pretty much told me to shut the fuck <laughs> But right here, you can see. You can clearly see that she is fucking insecure. 
Okay, very, very fucking insecure. You know, and even though, like I said, she, the weight coming off her and it looks good and whatnot, but I'm starting to get that feeling that she's doing it to keep his attention. Because that right there, I guarantee we see her next season, she probably would have drastically lost weight to sit here and compete with the toys of the world. I'm just saying. Now they on the boat, and um, Toy Ashley Eugene mentions, okay, yeah, when we get back, we're going to be moving. And, you know, Toy's like, yes, you know, and we found the place. Ashley, Denise kind of asked, like, oh, y'all found the place. You know, just out of curiosity, and, I, and the, that whole thing right there, her and Janice are supposed to be friends, so the fact that Janice, it's one of those ways, like, well, damn, I got to find out with everybody the fuck else. I would just play the shit off. She's like, mm -hmm, okay. But when she did it, she was like, yes, you know, all on our own because my friend Janice, you know, didn't do a good job to help me. And, da -da -da. and you know, I'm going to say this. Janice was nice. Janice was now, let me, and I, I need to be clear about this. First, Janice was nice. Get this motherfucker right here again. I'm cool. Especially when I'm around my off. It's one thing. But you, you ain't finna see and pull my whole car. You ain't finna do it. And there's a lot of times I'll let shit slide. But for you to sit here and use my name in a drip, nah. But, to be clear, at Dr. Uh, you, Dr. Greg's birthday party, I'll say you, Dr. Greg's birthday party, she, Janice, was inappropriate in, you know, talking about Toya and the whole thing or whatever, so I can't be too mad. This for that tip tap. And, you know, uh, you know, Janice said, I was hurt by your actions. Yeah, yeah, rah, rah. I told you apologize. That shit dead. And, you know, uh, they get done with the boat trip. Simone's talking about, okay, you know, don't forget about dinner tonight. And so it's like, well, what time is it? Now, again, you ain't got to be a rocket science or a rocket surgeon to catch that shade. And, I mean, you know, well, Lisa the Cole ain't finna go toe to toe with Toy no more. And Mariah's let the fuck go. I mean, I would have too, but it's just like, oh, you mess it. Oh, you mess it. You know, Nigelation says, thou shalt not throw shade if thou shalt cannot throw hands. So I hope she got hands. But one thing I will say about Toy, I'm, I'm, I'm going to say this. I understand you used to yachts and shit, want to go back to Dubai and shit, but let me say this and shit. Now, Everybody got their own financial problems. Damn it, I know I got mine. Okay, I I can I can admit, hell yeah, more often than that, I fucking live up a paycheck, paycheck. But I pretty much just low key told y'all what the fuck I do for a living. So, and I pretty much told y'all about my living situation. So you already fucking know it is what the fuck it is. But I ain't out here trying to stuff for no motherfucking body. Now you sitting here, y'all couldn't get approved for a fucking loan for that particular house. So rather than just go ahead getting a, a mortgage loan and buying a motherfucker, you got to fucking rent it, but you want to sit and talk about somebody not having a motherfucking yacht. You want to sit here and throw all these lavish motherfucking parties well outside of your fucking budget. You want to sit here and throw parties for your children so lavish and they ain't even going to fucking remember the motherfucking shit. You want to sit here and do all of this. You all about the glitz, the glamour, the stunts, and the shows, but you wonder why your shit ain't right. That, that, and and all you feel what I'm saying? So, yeah, you probably would have had a yacht, and that probably would have drove your ass further the fuck into that, rather than sitting here taking care of the basics and making sure, you know what, I'm, I'm going to leave you the fuck alone. I'm about to raise my damn blood pressure. What I forgot to mention uh, in the last portion is uh, Simone threw some nice shade uh, when they was all getting in the water and whatnot, and, you know, she decided not to, you know, she canceled because Cecil came. She was like, well, you know, I'm on the boat with my husband of 20 years. I, I sat back and I get back with no motherfucking shade because I caught it. I caught it. It was good shade, though. It was good shade. I, it, it, was, it was good. It quenched my thirst. But, um, so they're at the, uh, so they're, um, at dinner and, you know, they have their little, you know, traditions and whatnot. Simone asked, okay. When is it okay to keep a secret from, you know, your spouse? Now, that was one of those where, you know, come on now, you know, your ass being messing with the question. But that's okay, because we're here for it. So, Toya pretty much said that, and um, I agree with what she said. Sometimes what is a big deal, you know, to one, 
may not necessarily be a big deal to the other and vice versa, which is so fucking true. And that's one of those where it's not always just what a man thinks versus a woman. Well, that, I mean, that is true, but then it's also, or even a man to man and a woman to woman, but you have to remember that each person are individuals. So, you know, I said, one may have grown up with, well, fuck, this ain't a motherfucking big deal, shit, I'm fucking used to this, you know, and others may feel fucking differently, you know, whether it be religion, all of the shit, yeah, yeah, blah, blah. So Eugene, like his fucking wife, you know, cause I, and again, I, I, I still want him to read the eyes out of his motherfucking wife, I, I want to see it. But Eugene pretty much like, that's just like the strip club, which I understand, it's one of those where part of me wants to believe. This is just general talk. But because he's married to Taffy Toya, I'm pretty sure that was a fucking jab at fucking um, Lisa Nicole. And this is one of those instances where, it's, you know, had Lisa went smooth the fuck off on him, I wouldn't have been fucking mad. But at the same exact time, I hate dog with how. I hate dog with how. But he was just like, you know, it might not be a big fucking deal that I went to the motherfucking strip club, but for you, it might. And if y'all, and if we were to do a parallel, go back to season two of, uh, you know, Little Women of Atlanta, you know, that was that whole thing about them going to see, well, I, were they in a strip club? Strip club influence, whatever the fuck. And they whole thing is, well, you know what happened here, stay here. And somebody was like, it's not like y'all fucking had sex. I mean, shit, it was the fuck it is. So for, the, for, so for that group, it's just like, man, shit, it is what the fuck it is. It don't need to fucking know. It, what happened here stayed here that oh, and that's when Toya jumped in you know she was like I mean cause yeah you know with us you know hey, that's the difference between you know like me and Elisa so now it went from a, this possibly could have been about that like, probably could have been a jab at me to okay this is definitely a jab by me but she was like you know that's the difference between me and Elisa you know cause you know I check in with my husband da, 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 and that's when like well you don't be checking in lately and she was just like, you know, shut up. He, and he was just like, when well, they went back, she was like, don't tell me to show you. Like, boy, you better put that biscuit in your mouth. And right there, <laughs> right there, right there, that was below the belt. There was even shade before that when they had got done with the boat trip. And she said, well, I, you know, I'm tired. He was like, well, you ain't did shit all day. She, he was like, well, I went swimming. Did you catch the shade? Because I caught the shade. It was one of those. I got a motherfucking exercise. Like, you were sitting your lazy ass on the boat. But you can see this. is, And she's even mentioned his weight in prior seasons. Again, I hope he get her ass together. I hope he read the eyes, read the dust, read the piss out of her ass. This will make my motherfucking Friday. All right. So, <clears throat> it's the end of this. All right. So, um... <clears throat> The whole argument between Toy and Eugene, that shit fizzled right fucking quick. I was mad. But I guess he kind of feels kind of way like maybe she holding a secret, but she's holding a secret, but it's not her secret. She's holding a secret for somebody else. I don't give a flying fuck. <clears throat> but yes, I was hoping that he was going to sit here and pretty much just pop her eyes out for a good time. We'll see. Um... Quad shows up late, her and uh, Dr. Greg, and she apologizes for her target. And then Mariah does feel some kind of way, like, okay, so she can show up late. It's not a fucking issue, but I show up late, it's a problem. And if I'm not mistaken, one thing that also ties into it is, I believe from Atlanta to uh, Hawaii, or Hawaii, it was, what, 14 hours? And I, I'm going to keep it all the way fun with y'all shit. I fucking flew from Chicago to, well, actually, I think I went from Chicago to Memphis, Memphis to Seoul International, which is uh, South Korea, and then from there to Yongsan. It was a whole lot of fucking... When, by the time that my motherfucking ass got done, I was able to motherfucking lay this ass down. I laid that ass down. You feel what I'm saying? So, hey, some of them probably fucking jet like This motherfucking is ever had time to rest this and a third. So, and this whole thing was dedicated for them to sit down. And at the same exact time, you know, Mariah, you did not come in and just immediately apologize and not be understanding of everyone else. And again, I always say people are so quick to be understood where they don't like they they, they want people to understand them, but they don't want to understand other people in the fucking situation. It is what the fuck it is, but of course Mariah feels kind of way. Now, um not not what's her name? Simone asked a question. You know, what do you feel that, you know, makes your wife a good mother? So that's more or less direct towards the men. 
So, um, damn it. Dr. Damon was just like, he's happy that, it, you know, he was in the uh, mercy room where they said a third and blah, blah, blah. But more or less, you know, heavy, you know, kind of held down the finances this, that third, you know, didn't make it too difficult for him. You know, he, he, he appreciate her for that. All right, cool. Um, damn it, Dr. Hug. What's his fucking what's his first name? Mariah, damn husband. His whole thing is she reminds me so much of my mother, but I love the fact that, and tangent, it is always said that more often than not, we tend to pick somebody that is exactly like our parents, and I'm not even gonna fucking lie. If I find somebody that's just like my mother, I don't know what the fuck I'm gonna do because I am my mother's child, like, no shit. I'm like, you know, Budweiser and shit. She's ever clear. There's the comparison. So if I find somebody like that, I don't know what the fuck I'm gonna do. Hell, I don't... Whew. Maybe a tone down version. Tone down version. But he loved the fact that she put the family before every fucking thing else. Okay, cool. Cool. Rocking with that. Now, quiet. Um, I'm going to make it clear. I don't have a baby. But I'm appreciative of my husband because, you know, he was willing to accept my family in and help us through this crazy time. Now, Mariah was like, mm, here she go with that struggle last tear. That's the tear that could. And I'm like, come on, Mariah, stop it, stop it, stop it. But the issues that those two have, they're not going to go away. And um, Cecil says, Simone, she's willing to sacrifice for her kids. And that right there means so much. And I, you can actually kind of see that, you know, she goes without granted. Yes, they have two houses, but the fact that she puts so much of her time into working. You know, and it's not just about making money, but making sure that her boys are, you know, good. They got what they need to do what it is that they got to do. Mad love for that. Jackie shows up without Curtis. And, you know, everybody want to ask, you know, where's Curtis? She's like, oh, well, I'm going to talk about that later. And I can understand everyone asking. Again, I'm that motherfucker where I'm not going to be that motherfucker. Where, where so-and-so at? I'm not going to fucking do that. And if I fucks with you, if I fucks with you. Because, you know, her, her and Simone, they fucks with each other. It would have been like, hey, let me holler at her. Where the fuck you been at? You know, or just wait, bro. The fact that she showed up, like, what, a day and a half late, and then without her husband, of course, it's something fucking big. And Simone even said, it has to be something because she's not even talking about it. And later on, we find out that, um, you know, he didn't come because they had yet another falling out. And this video, it this video is already going to be a little bit long, and I'm actually talking about my life a little bit to kind of do some parallels because I actually understand, Dr. Jackie, my life parallels a lot with her, and I'll share, you know, a little bit of my life. But she pretty much said that to make it so that she had time for this uh, vacation, she worked a lot more to make time for this. And her husband didn't understand it. And that kind of, you know, fucked his head up. It's like, you know, we supposed to be getting ready for a trip. So rather than her winding down, she cranked it up. And he chose not to come. And, you know, Donna Simone, yeah, Donna Simone was just like, well, he's not a physician like us. So he does not understand. And, you know, she even said, like, nobody can sit here and say I work too much because you have not walked him out of my shoes. Now, that is, so I'm going to say this. That is the end of the review. Now, if you're done with if that's all you want, to, if that is all you want to was the review, then you can stop now. But what I'm going to say, I'm going to talk about myself for a minute. So, let me see. Back when I was at Rucker, so I was at Rucker from uh, March 2009 to wait, what, what, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, till July 2013. So I believe it was like around 2010. You know, I was dating. You know, uh, <clears throat> my girlfriend, Tamia, you know, she and I we were together doing our thing and whatnot. The issue that we had is, you know, again, I'm military. She's not. So it's one of those where, weirdly enough, she understood the struggle because our biggest thing was making time to truly communicate. And more or less, it was my problem. It was my issue because, you know, she would make small gestures and I wouldn't, I, I didn't, Notice that was her making an attempt. So in terms of that whole thing, yeah, I fucked it up. But there was a lot of times where, you know, she understood, to my understanding, my struggle, but she didn't care because I work well, well, shit at Rucker. I work doubles. I pull doubles every fucking day, and sometimes I'll pull a double with a turnaround, meaning work a.m. 
and PM turn right the fuck back around the very next day do PM night ones and there have been days that right after the night ones turn right the fuck back around and this is illegal as fuck do AM and PMs I've done that shit for shift coverage to give other people time off or whatnot and when it came to work very very de- very very dedicated to my job then and even now and this is before I actually had you know ranking shit on my chest but being dedicated to my job just trying to make sure that I was the best that I can be and I knew my job and was one of the best at that particular facility. Because I worked at Stenson Station at the time. That was out of New Brockton, Alabama. And it got to a point where things just got bad. Now, I'm not going to tell y'all what caused the fucking demasolation because ain't none of y'all motherfucking been there. But there were issues between she and I because it was just like my schedule was never set in stone. I never worked the same damn shifts. I was always working. And then there were moments when I would bring work back to my room and even one of my NCLs at the time, she literally gave me a fucking direct door, like, because she, like, they was doing a Spanish, and she saw me with records out. Like, my TV is, like, right, uh, this right here. So, my camera's here. My TV is literally right here. So, kind of, and then, like, I would have records doing this, doing records, watching TV, and she literally was like, you gonna put that shit the fuck up. You ain't doing no more fucking records. But that's how dedicated I was, you know, especially, you know, being a black man, you know, in the field that I'm in as an air traffic controller, you know, it is what it is, but I found myself having to work harder just to prove that, hey, I am qualified to do what the fuck it is I have to do. Take take that for what it is. But when Jackie said what she said about walking a mile in my shoes, I can say the same fucking thing. You know, until a mother has walked a mile in my shoes to do what it is that I've done, and when someone can actually see all of what I left, because the impact I left on that fucking facility from creating study guides, scenario sheets, redoing all the fucking tests with fucking answer keys, the whole fucking night had that shit so set up to where everybody passed tests, everybody was like first time go, taking a fucking, you know, exam to get their fucking over the shoulder, you couldn't tell me shit, but that took time, but all that time that I put into work, and I've repeated that several times, I swear when I take my journey, I'm gonna try my best not to repeat that same mistake, but I get so dedicated, and I sometimes throw myself so much into my work. And there's other reasons as to why I do that, but it happened, and that actually caused a rift in my relationship, hence why I'm not with her, and I ain't gonna fucking lie. To me, it was, you know, excuse how I wanna phrase it, but she was a down-ass bitch, and I ain't gonna fucking lie, and that's one of those where, you know, it is what the fuck it is, you know, but, um, but I understood, Jack. When that shit happened, I'm, I said back, like, you know what, I understand, I feel you, so... That's that. That's all that I have. You know, hopefully y'all enjoyed me sharing a little bit of my motherfucking life with y'all today. So please rate, comment, subscribe, and share. I will see you guys uh, Sunday for the uh, Real House Pose of Atlanta. And maybe if things pan out, I'll probably do uh, some tabloids and trending topics with T-minis. But I know tomorrow I'm probably going to spend most of that time actually putting uh, content on my other channel. So thank you guys so much. I love you. And uh, yeah, holla. Peace.